will start our discussion on propagators okay so propagators is like green's function i did tell you so you are aware of feynman propagator no that's what in single particle quantum mechanics but we'll do propagators for field theory so these are very useful for constructing green's function then uh, renormalizing mass so all that so green's function is the critical thing which i told before and uh, essentially we compute the green's function for interacting fields so, so i'm going to tell you now a little bit we are going to start some discussion but we'll do real fields in a, in after some time i mean real uh, interacting fields so far we discussed free fields no I mean they, they were not interacting except we put some potential small potential but we'll really do fields a little bit later so uh, let's uh, start looking at uh, green's function uh, for interacting uh, or more complicated uh, hamiltonian okay it's not more complicated but i'm just slowly beginning to uh, make things complicated so our hamiltonian h has free part and the interacting part so uh, h is h not h not is the free part okay so that's a typical thing now and so this is similar to perturbation theory uh, you did in quantum mechanics but of course this more advanced mathematics plus potential okay that's what i'm going to write and this potential can be function of phi itself or it could be external potential no so that's a possibility so uh, uh, so we write uh, this is the definition of green's function right now delta function i can write is x uh, bra x ket y no bracket notation now this you know from your quantum mechanics that for complete basis energy basis n i can write insert n this identity operator uh, inside okay this shifted in ppt but uh, that's what it is okay so uh, what is this uh, uh, nx this is wave function uh, eigen function right phi nx oh no, phi n yeah so this eigen function x and this is phi n star complex conjugate right uh, of y okay so the right hand side is nothing but uh, sum over n this is the right hand side now i want to construct green's function in terms of these eigen basis functions okay in many body physics this is one of the standard ways to construct green's function so uh, okay it's function of x and y and you can see it's right hand side is like this so let's make a guess that i can construct my green's function in this form with a and being unknowns okay so remember this function of x so we substitute uh, h uh, this g in there when you substitute g what will happen h acting on g what will it do is function of x so will act on phi nx right uh, that's what it is going to do so first thing is going to do so let's just write down h acting on g so it's going to be an it won't do anything to y and h acting on phi n will give us en right uh, uh, phi n is a eigen function for h with eigen value en right so uh, this is by definition h phi equal to e, 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 e n phi n yeah, i can write in terms of uh, this notation as well e n n okay clear so uh, so this is the first term second term will give us of course uh, uh, yeah so this is uh, phi n x will also come second term will be e is a, e is a number so it does nothing um, en i'll keep it outside phi n star y phi n x okay and right hand side is some phi n x phi n star y okay now i equate the uh, well these are basically uh, functions so i can take it to the left hand side and uh, just get the coefficient of this function to be zero so the coefficient here is one and coefficient in the left is an en minus e 
okay, correct. So, I am equate the two. So, that is going to give me 1. So, that means a n is 1 by e n minus e. Okay. So, this is the coefficient which will go in there. So, great. Now, we have the Green's function is this. Okay. So, Green's function for this uh, Hamiltonian is this. Okay. This call Green's function based on energy. There is no time here, but it is function of energy. Okay. And uh, in fact, it is very useful from the Green's function, you can compute the poles of the Green's function will be give you the energy eigenvalues. Right. So, the, this function becomes 0 uh, at the bottom. So, these so it has lot of applications okay. and this is for with uh, for full uh, Hamiltonian. Of course, the problem is I need to find these Eigen functions for the full Hamiltonian that can be a difficult task. Any case, so let us uh, do some more work. So, my Hamiltonian is written as this. Now, I am going to write the Green's function. Okay, so this I am playing some algebra with this. So, uh, well, I am writing them time dependent. Okay, so uh, h, uh, h h is an operator. So I am writing d by dt psi is h psi, right? Uh, I h bar. Okay, so h bar is one. So the corresponding Green's function will be d by t t d b i d t minus h Green's function equal to 1. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, is a delta t minus t prime. If I do the Fourier transform of that, well, I get minus i omega minus h Green's function equal to 1. Okay. So, uh, so we I go to from t basis to uh, omega basis, uh, then I will get 1. Okay. So, this is nothing but that plus I have there is Green's function of two types I did mention it one forward and one back forward in time one backward in time which I am going to discuss it today. Okay. So, there are two types of Green's function one with a where uh, okay. so there are two types we will see it today okay, in more more concrete way. Okay. So, h is uh, h naught plus v so let us write that down. So, I get uh, minus omega plus so i am replacing this h by h naught plus v okay now this part is the linear part and this is an interacting part so what do i do i can rewrite that so you may recall the green's function well, uh, green's function is i wrote minus i omega plus uh, h naught okay we in fact H naught may be in matrix, but this we rewrite like that. So, look here the definition. So, I am just going to write this i d by d t or less minus i omega plus h g equal g naught h naught equal to 1, right. That is the definition for h naught and g naught, but this is a definition for g naught. Is it clear to everyone? Uh, this is the definition. Now, I can multiply. So, what I will do is I will just uh, uh, do the, so uh, this is what will that be? This g naught inverse, no? g naught equal to 1. Okay, so, this is g naught inverse or so this is a basically short form you write do not write 1 by a matrix, but this is inverse is a you should understand that is a inverse. Okay. So, we write this part as a g naught inverse by the I just showed you. So, we rewrite this part as that and I take uh, this to the right hand side. Okay. So, uh, now this is my equation. Now, I we do one more step. So, I multiply by g naught in the left, I just multiply by g naught to the whole equation, then I will get that. Okay. So, this equation is I should write k omega which I did not write it. So, these all are functions of k omega except v is typically function of k only. Well, it could be time dependent as well, but let us just write as function of k. Okay. Now, Green's function is function of Green's function itself. You see that? So, unknown this one unknown is function of unknown in the right hand side. Okay. 
So, it is a uh, in fact you might seen this called integral equation if you write into the integral. So, uh, you have to solve it perturbatively and you might have seen this Born approximation perturbation theory in quantum mechanics it starts like this ok. So, now let us try to do this perturbatively. So, in the first approximation if v is 0 then what do I get for g, g plus first approximation or 0 0. So, let us assume v to be 0 free particle or free field. So, it is going to be g plus k omega is g naught. Next step I substitute the g naught here ok. Uh, you understand no? the next step I just so first order whatever I get I just substitute it there. So, then I do is the next second approximation g plus k omega this is my equation this is a full equation this, in fact I cannot well sometimes you can try to solve it uh, analytically, but we I am doing perturbatively. So, I am going to replace this first order function here for, for g plus. So, I get uh, g naught minus g naught v g naught ok. So, this is my new function new new guess for g. Next what I can do is third approximation is getting better I can plug this in here <laughs> keep plugging in. So, what will I get g naught uh, uh, minus g naught v now I plug the whole thing here. So, that is g naught minus g naught v g naught. So, what is this g naught minus g naught v g naught plus g naught v v g naught v g naught ok. These are matrices or operators. So, we have to put them in proper order and we have to just write like that. So, we can keep going on, but you can see that um, you can write this perturbative series and this is the first approximation first level first order second order you can go to third order and so on ok. So, this we write in terms of Feynman diagrams or diagrams. So, this is the, the diagram. So, this is the full Green's function ok this full g plus this is g naught. So, the bold line this bold line thick line is the full Green's function, but then we have g naught which is thin line ok. So, this is uh, this I already know how to compute then there is a minus g naught v g naught. So, this is minus this is my uh, g naught v g naught ok. So, uh, it is a it is a diagrammatic way to represent this this operator. Next is uh, plus g naught v g naught v g naught. So, g naught v g naught uh, v g naught ok. So, these are 3 g naughts and 2 v's and we can go on. So, this is a infinite series ok. We can also write in the following way we write this g naught minus g naught v and solid line full g ok. So, this will correspond to uh, uh, this one this is represented here ok. So, uh, this one representation for how to compute Green's function. So, uh, in fact, if you are used to it uh, then you can write this diagrams very easily also it is a very visually it is nice uh, uh, these operators are easy to write, but if you have integrals then it becomes too tedious ok. Uh, integrals are very tedious I am going to show you in the next slide, but these diagrams are very useful and this is by Feynman ok. So, he constructed these diagrams for Q E D first time, but now it is used in all field theory and for this reason I mean once we have this Hamiltonian. I want to write down the full Green's function, then I will uh, follow this part. Okay, so let's. Okay, this is how uh, we plug in this uh, perturbation v. Now let's do it one more uh, thing. Suppose I want to write in terms of time. 
g k t that part hand omega, but we will find fields of this sort g k t t prime and this guy is again g naught v g ok. So, uh, I am going to leave it for you they do exercise this one exercise uh, actually there should be a minus sign here really. So, this g naught v g naught will be of come of this form ok this you can do it. So, d t prime g naught k t minus t prime. So, this Green's function t minus t prime and the source will be t prime and source is a t prime. I might have done this uh, in when I did the Green's function. Uh, so, uh, this is in fact standard for given the Green's function how to find the solution. So, given the Green's function uh, uh, how do I find the solution ok. So, if you have something like uh, operator h psi is source let me write in not in the operators, but h of psi of x is rho of x ok. H is a linear operator and I know the Green's function ok. So, Green's function will be h h g uh, h of x h of x g x minus x prime is delta x minus x prime. So, I have a point source at x prime then the response it is a Green's function ok that is a Green's function. Now, once you know the Green's function I can solve for psi. How do I solve for psi? Psi of x this is a beauty of Green's function g x minus x prime rho x prime d x prime right. So, you know it already that you compute the potential for a point charge then you can write down potential for any set of charges. So, this is a general charge source and this is a potential for a point charge ok. So, this is what I am done doing here. So, this is the Green's function is a response when my source is at t prime and then I can write down for this is a perturbation no? the remember this is the this is perturbation in the right hand side, but perturbation is function of g itself and that is why this is coming as a source this corresponds to source ok. So, I recommend that you can do this as an exercise and uh, prove that indeed this is what we will get ok. So, I will end here uh, for this part ok previous slide ok yes this line this line ok. So, what, what is the problem ok let us see. So, this this you agree. So, this is the definition of the Green's function right uh, the delta t minus t prime. So, I just write uh, uh, we go to Fourier space. So, d by d t becomes i omega this correct now this one you have a question now ok. So, how do we ok now here I put h equal to h naught ok here I put h equal to h naught and g equal to g naught. So, g naught is the Green's function for free field free Hamiltonian ok. So, this is h naught and this is g naught uh, no 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 I made a mistake here uh, this is my uh, i h bar it so ok no 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 i h bar so i h bar divided this is correct no. So, there should be uh, so there is a this is correct this should be minus h. So, yeah, so there is a the whole slide has a problem of sign. Uh, so, this should be minus h is true and so <laughs> ok. So, let us let us fix it. Uh, so, I think we will we will let me just do the sign change. So, in the recording only we will just quickly do the sign change. So, let me just see. So, this will be minus i h bar. So, minus h. So, this will be minus h naught and this will be minus v. This is going to be this is uh, i h bar. So, this correct and this correct. Okay, and this should be minus ok. So, now here this will be minus. So, this will be minus and this will be minus ok. So, when it goes to the right hand side this becomes plus and this becomes plus right. So, ok. So, yeah all these are plus 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 no no. So, so this is minus um, G naught inverse is this minus ok. So, uh, this is plus 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 ok. So, these are so the here this will no minus these are plus.